What's up, guys? I'm the Axe Kyle, and I'm here for the last non-live reaction for E3. Sony's will be live, and uh, Nintendo's will also be a live reaction, but I don't know if that one will be live-streamed or not, but Sony's will not be live-streamed. The reason that I've decided that is because I guess I'm not big enough, and maybe I should, but I don't really care. Uh, but uh, let's get started, because apparently Square Enix had their E3 event. Ha! Jokes. And, uh, because they sucked. Uh, th again, this all shown at, uh, Microsoft's stuff. Uh, this was also shown at Microsoft's stuff, but it says the awesome adventures of Captain Spear will connect to Strange Life Season 2. This one has expanded stealth options. Awesome. This game confused the fuck out of me because it said CE, like 5,000 something, and this game looks like it's from medieval times. So, how do we get there from uh, the year 2018 to the year 5000 and whatever? And I know that it was that because we are in CE, which is current era, and BCE means before current era, era whatever. They don't go by um, before Christ and then after death. So, that's what I was used to until now. Or, well, I was used to, and it was made by Platinum. So, uh, should be interesting to see what they got. But, uh, I'm very confused, and I don't care. Just Cause 4, again, shown off at Microsoft, so I don't really care. Or, no, to care. Uh, The Quiet Man... I, I don't know, it looks interesting. But, I, again, really don't know, really don't care, and it says here... We got a trailer for Final Fantasy XIV's Under the Moonlight update and news of Monster Hunter World crossover. And, and a new trailer for Dragon Quest, which is also in Japan. And I didn't know they had a trailer for Octopath Traveler. Traveler. So, uh, yeah. All the way back up. So, um, I can't believe that there was something that actually could compete with being the worst thing at E3 along with EA because I thought EA was going to be like the only shitty one. I thought that um I didn't know that um Square Enix was going with the um the micro uh the Nintendo platform. Nobody can do that but Nintendo because they because they just do it so well like when they just have their like their direct stuff and they just tell their shit they know what they're doing, but Square Enix, they can't do it. I get that they're trying, they're 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 buddies with Nintendo now, so uh, hopefully we get some uh, Gino in uh, Smashy Bros. But uh, looking like uh, Square Enix will more or less, if they're gonna shine, it's gonna be during their the Switch stuff. And that's all I gotta say about Square Enix. But I rate them a. Um, uh, to... I don't even know. Fuck it. Next, we had Ubisoft. And Ubisoft, uh... I have been... I don't know. I don't know what I've been seeing. I mean, I kind of liked it. But a couple of people that I've seen are kind of being negative. So, I don't know. Uh, th this made me laugh a bit. Cause I always like I always laugh at that stuff because it was it was dumb, but funny to me. Uh, but yeah, Just Dance Five is is it coming to the Wii? I'm. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Don't need this. Watch later. I'm not looking at that. No. No. Also, I'm watching the um, uh, the PC gaming show thing in the background, like on my phone, and all I can really say about that is I wish I cared more about the PC gaming stuff because everything that I get on my PC is during Steam summer sales or like the Steam sales and stuff because uh, a lot of these games you don't have to buy, you don't have to pay full price for eventually, like in like three months or so. So you can kind of wait, but, um, just dance 
2019. Wow, it is coming out for the Wii. I thought that was a joke. F those games still come out for the Wii. That is absolutely insane. That's that's insanity. That is actually insanity. Like how does that how does how do people still buy that? That's crazy. Oh. No, oh, yeah, I did watch on here. Lol. Um, Beyond Good and Evil 2, God, that's loud. Let's not do that. Cinemat the cinematic was great, and the pre-alpha looked cool, and I liked it. I mean, it's a prequel, and I don't know anything about Beyond Good and Evil, so I'll take a look at it. But, uh, this game kind of looked cool to me. But, uh, and, uh, oh, and you can make your own art for um, the with the hit record people yeah and you could make your own art your own music uh some things you could pitch it to them and uh they may add it to the game but this game not coming out for a long long time man for like what they want to do like this could possibly be next generation like of consoles so but it looked cool, and then there's this dude who was in a couple of movies that you might have heard of. Um, Joseph Gordon Levitz, I think his name was. But I recognize him from a couple of movies. He had Trials Rising. Uh, I played Trials, the original, I think it was, that was on the 360. Whichever one was on the 360, and it looked cool. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, it's on Switch. I guess that's all I gotta say. Uh, the Division 2 will get raids and free DLC. I guess raids are like... I guess... I don't know what, what raids would be here. But... Um, I guess raids on mobile stuff are just like harder things to do. So you having buddies makes sense. And then after a release, it will get three free episodic DLC packs, which include new areas, new stories, and new activities. And um, Ubisoft Massive has clearly learned a lot as they laterally improve and expand upon the first division. Um, and, uh, yeah. Um, oh, shout out to Kotaku again. I don't know, you guys can't see it. Kotaku there for for uh, putting all of this up on their website. Oh, and uh, the next stuff was the Mario Rabbids Donkey Kong stuff. This looked cute. Um, Mario Rabbids isn't my thing. If it's your thing, then why not? Go check it out. Oh, it comes with the uh, um, Rabbid Cranky Kong. Rabbit Cranky, I thought that was cool. Skull and Bones, um, moving on, is, uh, was cool, I thought. Uh, it took what was, a, it, which is, like, kind of a big part of the, what do you call it, um, which was a big part in, um, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and they made it into an actual game. I figured this was gonna be their game coming out this year instead of Assassin's Creed myself, because, um, I figured they learned their lesson because Origins was really good and that's a two years, like, in between. So I figured it was gonna be another two years, but Odyssey is coming out this year. So I'm a little dis- oh, like, I'm excited to play it. I'm just disappointed that what happens if this is, like, we keep getting these repeats of, like, not that good of games because of it. So, I mean, that's all I'm- that's all I'm saying- because Unity afterwards, other other than Origins, was pretty bad. I liked Origins. I played it. So, uh, yeah, but um, Skull and Bones has some hot pirates. I guess, I guess some of the pirates were hot. I really just noticed the boat. But, um, 
yeah, apparently it's cool, and you can do stuff, but something tells me that, um, we don't know a lot about this, we, we are gonna probably find out more about this game before its 2019 release, um, Transference, Creeped, like, this game, I was not like, oh, oh yeah, Paladin's thing, Kind of looks like the Sherbert Land thing. And they're they're showing Paladin stuff at the game, the the PC thing. So, um, Elijah Wood came out. Elijah, what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Isn't that the dude? I feel like I know who that is. I feel like that's the dude that played uh uh what's his name. Elijah, yeah, isn't this the dude that played, uh, Frodo? Yeah! Yeah, it's the dude that played Frodo. Yeah, that's awesome. So, good for him on making a game. I mean, I didn't think he was a gamer. So, yeah, but, um, so, yeah, this game was weird. Um, apparently, you are, are, uh, the, the, you are a person, and your dad created this weird, uh, uh, VR thing, and, um, you're looking for your mom, and everything's gonna be okay according to your dad, who is a psychopath. I won't get it. Because I don't have VR, and I don't care for VR. But if you guys have VR, I get this. We have Starlink Battle for Atlas. I feel like this was just a teaser before, but Star Fox is coming to it, so... I don't know anything about this, but I can as I assume that Star Fox, um... The racing thing that's been, like, leaked or whatever will be announced um, tomorrow to coincide with uh, this this thing, which will have an amiibo stand, I guarantee it. But uh, yeah, I don't think that this is just gonna be for the uh, Nintendo people. I think it will also be for the Xbox One PS4. It says Starlink coming out for Xbox One PS4 and PC. Then uh, For Honor got a new and uh, big expansion called Marching Fire. I don't care about For Honor, and Assassin's Creed Odyssey looks really cool. I am a sucker for Egyptian, Norse, and Greek stuff, so I will probably be getting this. I will not be a day one for me because a lot, because a lot of these games I don't care about person. Like a lot of the games, um, aren't worth like a sixty dollars to me unless I get like a um, a Steam card or a, or a PSN card, I'm not gonna get it first day. Because that, that's just how I, I do things. Like, from now on, I'm actually gonna look at a game to see if, like, I really, really want it, like, Smash Bros. or, um, or the new Fire Emblem that may came, that, that may come out at the end of the year. Those games I will get first day, and like the core Pokemon RPG, or um, God of War, which I did want first day, or the Jump Force game. But Assassin's Creed is gonna be one of those franchises. Actually, Pokemon Two, I'm not, I'm not even. Gonna, I may get like reduced for price, but um, but just because Pokemon is is not worth like. It's shown that it's not worth full price to me, or me paying full price or whatever, after sev the seventh gen stuff. But after the abominations that were Unity and Rogue and whatever, I've learned that you can't just buy Assassin's Creed. You have to like wait to see the reviews and like do everything like that, because it, it it fucks up. I mean, I don't know. Like it could be a bad game. And then, 
You just wasted sixty dollars, and you're never gonna get those sixty dollars back. So I mean, again, this is promising, and I will want to play it, but I'm skeptical, especially saying that this is a year after Origins, which, by the way, the game takes place hundreds of years before Origins. Origins being the first Assassin's Creed people. So, um... This really is an Assassin's Creed, because they talk... They never use the word Assassin unless they were talking about the name of it. They used Mercenary. So... I get why. But to me, again, this is very odd that they're gonna... I hope that they learned... Or, or they learn from their mistakes of coming out with a game every year and then and pushing it out and then it being okay instead of being a great game. And I think that that will help them a lot more than coming out with an okay game every year like Call of Duty does, like Battlefield does, like whoever does. And I think working on a game for years works a lot better than working on a game and then just shipping it out. But uh, Rainbow Six Siege is now played by 30 million people and getting a documentary called Another Mindset. The Crew 2 got a new trailer and it will have a beta on June 21st. So if anybody cared about that, cool. Um, so Assassin's Creed Odyssey gameplay was cool. Um, I like the RPG aspect. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, Ubisoft did good, but I'm expecting Sony to do better and Nintendo to do better. That's because last year they did really good. Um, but uh, yeah, they will. But I think Sony has Call of Duty now. I think it was micro was it Microsoft last year or I don't even know. I don't remember. But I don't know. I'm expecting good things out of um the next one, so uh Ubisoft gets me. Why not? I'm gonna give it an eight. But I hope to see more of more of the game aspect of uh of um Beyond Good and Evil 2, because that did interest me, so but if you guys did enjoy, leave a like, and um, I guess come back for uh, the live reaction of Sony tonight, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.